winter with a day off school. A blanket of snow covered Oberon on the state's central tablelands and locals got stuck in. Overnight, the winds were so strong, the snow appeared to be falling horizontally, turning the storm into more of a blizzard. By this morning, the town of Oberon had been transformed. Streets, roofs and in the middle of it all, the oval, covered in a layer of white. At nearby Black Springs, farmer James Gilmore was checking how his sheep had fared through a night that saw temperatures drop below zero. Right on the knocker on the, um, on the start of winter, so yeah, good to see. Livestock huddled up to keep warm, while others without a natural blanket were rugged up. It's certainly not ideal, and, uh, but it's what we're used to. The snow has been a familiar sight for some at nearby Blaney. Originally from Scotland, Glasgow, and uh, this is like a Scottish summer. Uh, the first day of winter has definitely not disappointed. It was a surprise for others. In, in orange it wasn't snowing, but here in Blaney it's just covered with snow. It's beautiful. It's quite fresh. Flights from Orange Airport were delayed as snow fell on the runway. It's not just the central tablelands that's received a dumping of snow. There's been heavy falls on the snowy mountains that prompted Perisher Resort to open early this season. We're all so excited. It's just looking like a great start to the winter season here at Perisher and we're really looking forward to welcoming guests back this weekend for the first time since you know, September last year. Staff are now racing against time to get everything up and running by the weekend. Xanthi Gregory, ABC News.